action potential represented by the yellow yarn travels down the axon represented by the red pipe cleaner while opening calcium channels of the nerve cell. The open channels allow calcium represented by the purple buttons to flow inside the axon. The calcium drives synaptic vesicles represented by big black buttons filled with ACH represented by little yellow buttons down these vesicles fused with the cell, and fused with the cell membrane. The ACH leaves the synaptic bulb by excess cytosis and is released into the synaptic cleft, the gap between the nerve cell and skeletal muscle. Then the ACH attaches to the receptors represented by the big red button on the motor end plate of the skeletal muscles represented by the wavy blue yarn. ACHE, represented by the small white buttons, are enzymes that break down the ACH in the synaptic cleft so that another action potential can occur. This process allows sodium and potassium channels to open and sodium, represented by little green and pink buttons, to enter into the muscle fiber, represented by blue pipe cleaner. Because of the sodium in the muscle cell, an increase of positive ions inside the cell causes the pulse to flip and initiates an action potential, which is a strong depolarization on the sarcolemma. The cell membrane of the skeletal muscle cell, represented by the blue pipe cleaner. The action potential travels down the sarcolemma into T tubules. These are tubes that dip down into the cell and are made up of cell membranes. The tubules are represented by sarcolemma, the blue pipe cleaner, that penetrate down into the skeletal muscle cell. When the action potential travels down these T tubules, calcium is released from the terminal cisternum, which is where calcium has been separated or sequestered. Calcequestrin, represented by the big pink buttons of the sarcoplasmic reticulum, represented by the purple pipe cleaner. Calcium floods over the thin filaments made up of actin, represented by green pipe cleaner, tropomyosin represented by orange pipe cleaner, and troponin represented by yellow pipe cleaner. The calcium binds to troponin, which pulls tropomyosin off the active site of the actin. represented by the black pipe cleaner, a thick filament with a high energy state represented when the head is stretched and a low energy state represented when the head is low, leaps over to bind with the active site on the actin molecule of the thin filament. This creates a cross bridge. The myosin head then moves to a lower energy state releasing ADP. <laughs> the power strip. ATP, represented by the little blue buttons, then attaches to the low energy myosin head, causing the head to break free from the active site on the active molecule of the thin filament. Then the myosin head becomes energized as the ATP is converted to ADP, and the high energy head will be ready to attach to the next exposed active site. Once there are no more attachments between the thick and thin filaments, we must get rid of the calcium left over so that the muscle can fully relax. To do this, we use ATP once again. We pump the calcium against the concentration gradient and pump the calcium back into the sarcoplasmic reticulum and attach the calquestrian molecule, allowing tropomyosin to recover the active site and the muscle can relax. The ATP 
therapy that our bodies use for the myosin, head, and calcium pump comes from the mitochondria of the skeletal muscle cell, represented by the red pipe. Skeletal muscles have fascicles, represented by the white yarn. Inside the fascicle is the myofiber, or muscle cell, represented by the blue pipe cleaner. The myofiber is made up of many myofibrils, represented by the pink yarn. And these myofibrils are what hold the thick and thin filament. Myofilaments, represented by the myosin molecule and the actin, tropomyosin, and tropinin molecule. A sacromere is a highly ordered unit of thin, thick and thin filaments. A sacromere extends from one Z disc to another Z disc and where the thin filaments attach, represented by the white pipe cleaners. The A band is the length of the thick filament, myosin, represented by the black pipe cleaner. The I band is the length of the thin filaments, actin, troponin, and tropomyosin, represented by green, orange, and yellow pipe cleaners. The H band is the part of the A band where no thin filaments overlap, so the dark band is a little wider, which is right in the middle of the A band, represented by the black pipe cleaner.